have you ever put on a foundation and gone well that didn't work and you realize that it might be the combination between your foundation and your primer i'm going to go through a bunch of primers today and tell you what i find that is so good for me and my mature skin and what i really feel like is great on more mature skin and i think would be good for you too so let's get into that video Before we get into the video though, we always go through what I have on and a few other things. So if you'd like to skip over that, I'm gonna put a timestamp right here where you can just jump to the reviews of the primers that are good for mature skin and you don't have to sit through all that. So do that right now because we're gonna talk about what I have on. And today I have on a sweater that is ribbed. It is a medium weight sweater. It's not super heavy, it's not super light, it's quite soft. It's kind of a muted, uh, deepened, periwinkle blue color that I really like. I did size up one size because the first one that I got, it just looked really thin. But then when I got this extra large one and I put it on, it feels like it's just a little bit too big around the middle. So I actually think that this stretches to your actual size. So you don't feel like you really have to size it up unless you like to wear your clothes a little bit looser. But I did size up on this one. And then today I also have on a link necklace that is these different textures in them and i really like this necklace it's stainless steel so it's not as expensive as some of the other silvers that you see and the earrings that i have on are very close to that as well it's that link style they these are a little bit more hammered and these are that kind of plated silver so it's a little bit more shiny and i didn't plan on them to match but they really did match well together so i put them together today and as always what i have on for makeup my fingernail polish anything else will be listed and linked below in with my number system a three is going to come up right here on the screen so what's going to happen is we're going to number our products one to however many we get through when i get to number three a three will come up here on the screen and then you'll be able to know that that corresponds to number three the product so don't worry about remembering color or even the name all you have to remember is you liked number three go down into the description box and open that up once you do, you'll find number three next to it will be the product with a color, any information that you might need other than that, and the link, and you can shop that way if you'd like to. So that is our introduction. Let's get into what are the best primers for mature skin right now. And just for your information, and so you know, I am 54. I have a lot of texture. I have a lot of pores. I do have some scarring right here from acne when I was younger. And I also have very dry skin that gets drier in the winter time when the heat comes on inside. So as I'm talking about these, I do like a little bit of hydration in my primers. However, in the summertime, I don't. So I will kind of specify those so that you know which is which, but these are all really good for mature skin. And I'm not going to do these in any particular order. They're just very, very good primers. Let's start out with a hydrating primer since I did tell you that I was dry. This is from Milani. This is the Skin Quench Hydrating Primer. And this has hyaluronic acid in it and it does have coconut water in it. So if you have a coconut allergy, please Please be aware of that. I always say that because my mother has a coconut allergy, so I'm very cognizant of that happening to people, and I don't want anybody to get in trouble with some of this stuff if you have an allergy. This I love because it does feel very hydrating as you put it on. However, as you work it into your skin, it feels so smoothing, and that's the beautiful thing about this. I have a lot of texture on my face. My pores are bigger, and I'm starting to notice a lot of sinking in my jowl area right here where that's creating some texture so for me to get a primer it has to have a little bit of dimethicone in it so that it can fill in those large pores and my foundation look a little bit smoother so smoothing and hydrating beautiful on mature skin really like that one somebody and came to visit this is Ollie, if I haven't introduced him to you before. A lot of you have seen him when he was a puppy. We got him two years ago and he's been on camera, but since I switched my filming setup, I haven't shown my pups very much, but he's for some reason being very needy right now. So he needed just a little bit of hug from mom. The next one I've been talking about for years, ever since it came out, is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. They do have the one that is like the putty one, but this one is so much better for my mature skin because it just glides across and it also fills in my pores so well. This is a very silky looking feeling 
primer, but boy, does it do its job of filling in those pores and creating the barrier between your foundation and your moisturizer so that your foundation doesn't get sucked into your skin and disappear throughout the day but it perfects and this is just it's been one of my very favorites at the very top for a long time and even though this is probably the most expensive one maybe not the most expensive one i have but it's close it is one that i felt like was worth it and this one ounce jar even though it's small it lasts and lasts because you don't need that much this is a beautiful primer on mature skin. however if you do feel like i can't afford that i feel like this one right here this is the revlon prime plus perfecting and smoothing primer this one would be a very close almost like buy this not that dupe to the tatcha one and one other one that i'm going to show you in here this one is so beautiful on your skin because it does all of that smoothing now this is the one that i reach for in the summertime when i need a little bit more of that help me stay matte and help me smooth out my makeup so if you're somebody that has normal to combo oily skin you might really like this better than any of the other ones that i'm going to show you today this is a beautiful primer and really blurs out everything and as long as you're pressing it in and you're not just swiping it and that goes for all of these primers as long as you're pressing it in you're going to find that you're going to really get the smoothing benefits of it this is a beautiful primer now this primer from hourglass the vanish airbrush airbrush primer i feel like also these two could be interchanged they are definitely very similar i think the hourglass one of as i've used it in the past it just uh, it comes out and it feels just like the one from revlon so i don't know why i'm doing a dupes video right in the middle of giving you you know, these different options but this is a pretty pretty primer it really goes really beautiful underneath any foundation that you feel like breaks apart because it will keep that any oils or anything at bay but it just feels like silk it feels very silky and very light and very airy so you're not going to have a heavy feel to begin with on your skin but it's going to be very perfecting and again going to go into those pores and just make those pores look like there's nothing there one that can hold that same standard of being able to create the barrier and take care of the pores and give you a very silky smooth canvas is the nyx marshmallow primer and i have heard a lot of people say well this is a lot for a primer 17 dollars i think it is about that but the one from revlon it was about 13 so you know it just just kind of depends what you want and what you like and you can always find nyx on sale it seems like but this one I have touted as a dupe for the Tatcha for years. Um, and this one came out not long after the Tatcha one did. I do feel like this one has a little bit more hydration than any of the others that I've shown you so far. Well, not the Milani because that's what the Milani one was. But it really has that ability to make you feel like you have that little extra boost of hydration and yet it has the silicone or the dimethicone in it that's going to smooth again and just make you feel and look flawless with your foundation so this one is gorgeous as well the next one is the no filter front primer from ColourPop. now this one again i feel like this one could be a high-end primer but this one does have this factor of being just a tiny bit heavier so if you're somebody that needs to take care of the pores you need those pores blurred but you do have like say normal to oily skin this might be the good one for you because it also has enough of a slip that i think that this one's going to hold any oils at bay it's really a good one i know that really the best thing for you to do if you do have a lot of breakthrough is use powder and that's hard for us as we age because powder can be very caking but if you use a good primer like this before your foundation you're going to find that you're getting the smoothing benefits and a certain amount of being able to keep your skin matte throughout the day so this is a good one for that this and one you know is from hard candy this is the sheer envy, sheer envy pore defense 12 hour pore defining minimize minimize minimizes the appearance of pores it's oil free and silicone free don't ask me how they do this because i couldn't tell you but this is phenomenal it is a primer that when i first run my finger across here and i'm really just trying to work it into my skin i've got like layers and layers of obviously your primers on here but this feels like it has silicone in it. it it so feels like it has dimethicone in it and it will perfect your skin 
without any of those things. So if you're somebody that has very greasy skin, you don't like silicones, you don't like any of that feel of any of those, you might love this. I don't know how they do it because once this dries down, it feels silky to the touch, it creates the barrier, and it really does fill in the pores. This is probably better than a lot of high-end ones. It's that good. And if you haven't tried it before, please just give it a try. It's one of those ones that once you get it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And because it's not very expensive, you can go ahead and give it a try. And if it if you don't like it, go ahead and you know come back and yell at me because I really think that just about everybody is gonna love this one. The e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Again, if you're somebody that doesn't like the feel of the silicones that are thick and that always come out white or whatever, you might really like this one. But this one has an added benefit of being very gripping to your foundation. So what it's gonna do, create the barrier, create the smoothness that you need from a primer, but it's going to hold on to your foundation throughout the day. And this does it. It feels sticky when you first put it on. I felt like I was gonna just go insane the first time I put it on because I thought I'm gonna have to wash this off. But within a few minutes, it just really dried down and it felt silky too. Like I said, even trying to rub it across my skin, I feel like it's gripping onto my skin, which that's the name. So again, if you're somebody that is oily, or your combo, maybe even normal. I, I'm dry skin, I love this. So this goes across the board and you're gonna really appreciate this one if you're somebody that has problems keeping your makeup on your face or your foundation on your face. I now, do have two honorable mentions. The first one is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I do have two honorable mentions. The first one is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Primer. Now, the reason that I'm not putting this anywhere really in the video is because it's out of stock. It's really good. It's a dupe for the Charlotte Til Tilbury Flawless Filter. I will notify you guys on the community tab as soon as this comes in, but just know that it's not in right now, but I give it my stamp of approval for a mature woman. It's beautiful and definitely don't have to pay that high price tag. I do want to talk about this. This is from Danessa Myricks and this one is not even called a primer. This is called your yummy skin blurring powder. So when I first got this and I was all excited about it because when you open it up, I mean, it has this, you know, scoop thing on the front, which I never touch, but when you open it, it, it looks like pan, pan makeup or cake makeup or whatever you call, whatever we used to call that pancake makeup. I don't think it was called pancake makeup. Anyway, it looks like that makeup that we used to use that was so thick and people that were on stage or whatever, they used to use that kind of makeup. It's not like that, but I also found out that it's not powder. So I can't, you don't use it as a blurring powder or anything like that. Maybe you all do. Let me know in the comment section if you're somebody that uses this as your last step. But what I use it for is I'll use one of these other ones, find whichever one I really like, use it all over, you know, press it in a little bit, but I still have those areas across my nose, forehead, chin, right here on my cheeks that at times, you know, depending on whether I've had a lot of salt, depending on whether I'm dehydrated, they cannot look very good for the day. What I do is I take my Dampen Beauty sponge before I do my foundation, after I do my primer, I just dab it barely in this and then I will really work it in all over these places, all over. And this is so blurring and so pretty. It's like the technique that I have taught for such a long time about the Wayne Go that Wayne Goss taught us where you put on your powder in between your primer and your foundation and it gives more coverage and it also looks more flawless. So that's what this has been good for me. When I first got it, I was I tried it as a powder at the very end. I felt like I looked like a cakey mess. I was like icky, icky, icky poo. And I just decided, nope, that's no good for me. And then I saw somebody else use it the way that I was just talking about. And I'm like, okay, switch over, try it the other way. It works so well. So don't use this as your last step if you do have it and you're already thinking, I don't like this. This works so good as just that little bit of extra coverage little oomph there to those areas they have it in translucent translucent this one is number three i don't know how many numbers they have this one gives a little bit of coverage like a powder would but it's really pretty 
once you get it on and you don't need as much foundation because once you get it on, you have that tiny bit of coverage. So all Works. of these are for mature skin, but they're also for anybody. Otherwise they wouldn't be on the market, right? But these are the ones that I picked out that I feel like work really well on a mature woman. So I hope that you did enjoy this. Tell me what your favorite primer is and what I'm missing out on because I wanna know that. Thanks everybody for being here with me. And if you're new, please subscribe. We'd love to have you here. And as we go out, I'm gonna put up another favorites video right here. Have no idea what it'll be, but it'll be something that is a favorite. <laughs> so I hope that you're all doing really well. Please go over and watch that other video. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my next video. Love you to death. Goodbye, my friends.